your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Tiger Jonathan, Jonathan Gray. So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought facing Theory would be a fresh match people wanted to see, but maybe they wanted me to take on someone I had history with, like Sammy or Ridge. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? It's the future of WWE, The Lock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the champion from the United States of America, weighing in at 235 pounds, Tiger Jonathan, Jonathan Gray. As we get started here, let me remind everybody that the title is on the line here tonight. Yeah, but that's just a mere formality. The way I see it, there's no way we crown a new champion tonight. Many have written him off as champion, but he is determined to prove his doubters wrong.
You're not standing. Fine, I'll just rock up by myself. Rick Boogs is here. And introducing the challenger, accompanied by Liv Morgan from Madison, Wisconsin, weighing in at 234 pounds, Rick Boogs. Oh, he's more than a magician, right, guys? Rick Boogs' intensity level goes to 11, and it's stuck there. Trust me, Boogs does not have an off switch. That's actually a good thing. Now, Rick Boogs has plenty of amateur wrestling accolades, a college wrestling standout. You would be mistaken to underestimate Rick Boogs inside the ring. An absolute powerhouse, and he's one of the best weightlifters in WWE. And tonight, Rick Boogs looks to melt his opponent's face off. The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment. The Lock is facing one of his stiffest title defenses yet against the red hot Rick Boogs. Boog's new tour manager, Liv Morgan, will be looking to add to their recent momentum by adding intercontinental gold to their gold records. Good one, Saxton. I don't know about you, but I've heard Liv and Boog's cover by the challenger. Gets the shoulder up and one. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Oh. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. She either had second thoughts or someone hit a wrong button. Either's possible around here. Look at uh oh. Able to beat Boots to the punch. to the gut. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. Into the barricade. Back in the ring now. Not even a two count. Everything possible was done to win there, but it just fell short. He had it scouted. Challenger. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Coast to coast! His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. He 
think the chair's got it. Could be seconds away from seeing Boogs fall. Oh, could this be it? Continental champion, Tiger Jonathan, Jonathan Gray. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. I'm so sorry. I don't know why my music hit during your match. So weird. All good. It didn't really affect the outcome. Really? Boogs didn't even notice? I thought that would get his attention. <laughs> Not that I want it. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. You've got a little thing for Boogs, huh? Well, he is extremely handsome. And who knows, maybe someday we could make a little boo drop. I honestly don't know how to respond to that, other than to remind you that Liv Morgan is more than just Boogs' manager, if you know what I mean. Well, that's also sort of why I'm here. I heard a rumor that Liv has actually been talking about moving on to you. Are you interested at all? Yeah, I don't really know her, but maybe. Well, I think you should grant Boogs a rematch and I'll be your manager. Let me work my matchmaking magic from ringside. What do you say? Uh, manager's not really my style, sorry. But good luck making a gumdrop or a little booger or whatever. The man destined to be top dog, it's The Lock. The following is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the champion from the United States of America, weighing in at 235 pounds, Tiger Jonathan, Jonathan Gray. So much on the line here tonight, guys, as we look to crown a new champion. That's right, Cole. We're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one. It's not very often you can say that.
The pressures of being champion are very real, but this guy is ready for it. Ready to rock and ready to fight. And introducing the challenger, accompanied by Liv Morgan from Madison, Wisconsin, weighing in at 234 pounds, Rick Boogs, a muscle-bound musician. Yeah, Rick Boogs, he gets shredded in the gym when he's not shredding on guitar. Right. What do you see in this guy, Saxton? Boogs is just like a big doofus. Oh, just lighten up, Corey. I bet you try rocking out. Yeah. The WWE fans on their feet and loving it. I'm loving it, too. Totally right this. Rock it out with boobs. Byron, never say that again. You can't stop me. You just need to hear more of his music, Corey. Can we cut his mic, please? Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. Well, this is familiar, isn't it? It's the Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, defending his title against Rick Boogs one more time on Raw. You'd think Boogs and Rick Morgan, of all people, would have had a better hand on the music last week. I guess technical problems happen to the best of us. Sweet, simple Saxton. My money's on the beat. Do dropping one more time. Jeez. This again. Never mind. It looks like Dewdrop actually showed up this time. And she's distracting the Intercontinental Champ. Trying to put this thing away. Shoulders down, roll up. The champion with his shoulder up before two. Just reverberated. Through. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh my God! We can have a new champion. If you're gonna do it. Don't get caught. Elbow drop for the title. Not so fast. Referee caught him in the act. Breaks the count. Boogs looking to rock, but he's got to stay on his man here. Oh, strong impact. The challenger eating up some damage. And there was some force on that move. Oh, wow. Lights out. Oh, by a forearm smash. Fails to connect on the springboard. Well-placed kick. And 
it's a long way down from there. Here's Superstar climbing to the second rope. Setting up for, oh my goodness, no way. This can't be done. RKO! Nasty right hand. Answers with an enziguri. Crashing to the floor. Springboard. Shooting star press. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. Turned that one around. Rick doing what he can to halter the beatdown. Boots is being tested, but finally got some offense of his own in. Lock wants to end this right now. Up into the all the way down, falling power bomb. Now that is why they're the champ. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the rest count, Cole. Eight. Great wherewithal to beat the count. Did you have anything to do with Dewdrop's deranged lies about me? So, I take it you don't have a huge crush on me? Nope, but I am down to team up with you to rearrange Dewdrop's lying face. That makes two of us. I don't know which of these two I can't stand less. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Tiger, Jonathan, Jonathan, Gray, and Liv Morgan. I am so excited to see these two work together. Two of my absolute favorites are teaming up. Yeah, the WWE fans going crazy.
These are some strange bedfellows. And their opponents, Rick Boos and Dudra. I'm very excited to see this pairing, but I'm worried about her influence on him. Women like that can turn any man into a sinful character, Byron. Uh, Corey, I know nothing about sin. Uh, Byron, you know nothing about women either. It's musical chair madness here on Raw as allegiances have been upended and new partnerships formed on the fly. That's right, Michael. The Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with the unlikeliest of allies, Liv Morgan, to take on Rick Boogs and his new boo, Dudra. Please don't start calling them. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Boodra. A butterfly suplex? No, oh, butterfly long blower. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Followed up with a hellacious knee lift. Here's the twist. Oh no! You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Off the barricade. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Rick Boogs out of harm's way. Saw it coming. And that was a precisely measured attack. Oh, and a reversal. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Ooh. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Shifts it back onto him. Reversal on top of the grab by the lock. Oh, my goodness. Is it enough to put Boogs away? He tags out, so now the women are going to go one-on-one. -on -one. Impact crossbody. Change your career. Here we are. 
that was the best of both worlds. What a fun mixed tag match. Perfect chemistry between these women. I see many more wins in the future for this pairing. It's the man who might transform WWE forever, The Lock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the United States of America, weighing in at 235 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, Tiger Jonathan, Jonathan Gray. This is a match that folks have been clamoring for, and they are excited to finally get it. The Lock has been handed the keys to WWE. Is he ready to drive? WWE roster and his opponent representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler, one of WWE's most accomplished superstars, a multi-time world champion, multi-time intercontinental champion, multi-time tag team champion. Is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do? Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be one of the best in all of WWE. Uh, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. Dolph Ziggler seems intent on flexing his veteran experience on the new Intercontinental Champion, and he's certainly not wasting any time. Saxton's usually the gossip girl of this group, but I heard backstage rumblings that Dolph actually made a play at mentoring the rookie. Seems to me like Dolph's the one that could use the mentoring. The Rock's already an Intercontinental Champion. Backhand hits the target. Snap Mare. Oh, and the rolling next snap. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. And able to counter. The springboard attack. To land. He can do it here. 
And he gets the shoulder up before two. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Oh, that unraveled on Dolph. Are you serious? What is The Miz doing out here? Oh, he probably noticed it had been an hour since he saw his face on the TV screen. Oh, look, the arm drag will right into a penny combination. Kicks out at just one. You've got to love the confidence. Oh, taking it right to him. No way to go. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Oh, Ziggler may be in trouble here. Dolph gets out of there. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Boom! Knee right to the face. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. And did you hear the impact of that? He knows how to avoid contact. These two training counters, an absolute master class. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. And we'll time maneuver there. He gets back into the ring. Oh, yeah, boy! Cross body! That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Ouch! Oh, look at Oh, clubbing blow. Not done yet. And a big knee left over the ropes to the floor. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh. Knee right to the face. Watch cracking something here. in La La Land. Oh. Momentum on the side of the lock. Yeah, lock is proving hard to keep up with. Wow, running red shot bulldog. Great ups. Super with the famous son. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. He's lost some of his win now. And an impactful display of we just witnessed there. And he slides him back to the mat. Four. Punch connects. and I just hate the way you said it. You guys think this win is going to keep them together? Well, I don't see a reason why you wouldn't. You got the synergy, now you've got the win.
You wanted to chat about Dolph Ziggler and The Miz? Are they friends of yours now? Not at all. More like the opposite. I need a little help getting them off my back and out of my social media feed. You down for a tag match? Tall order with those two, but count me in. Cool. You're welcome. It's the future of WWE, The Lock. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from the United States of America, Weighing in at 235 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental yeah. Champion, Tiger Jonathan, Jonathan Gray. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. Lock yourself to your seats. It's time for this man to go to work. It's your friendly neighborhood superstar, Gabriel Slade. And his partner from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 220 pounds, Gabriel Slade. Hear me out. I can't tell if Gabriel Slade is over or underrated. Is he even rated? Ouch. the entire WWE roster. And representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler! Dolph Ziggler made it his personal mission to eliminate the complacency that plagues the WWE locker room. Month after month, the preaching is the same. Dolph Ziggler truly believes no one can hang on his level. Yeah. Uh, he's truly a top dog. WWE. Just one of the many reasons why he is the A-lister. And from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! Think for a moment about all the great adversity Miz has had to overcome in his career. He has been stalked by maniacs. He's had his manhood question and he is constantly put in harm's way uh, well i have no sympathy for the miz it's about time he gets humbled 
shouldn't be humbled. He should be celebrated as a man, as a competitor, and beloved by all. Things are never as they seem with Dolph Ziggler, are they? The Intercontinental Champion is learning that the hard way as he takes on Dolph for the second time in as many weeks. No doubt the Lock and Gabriel Slade will have their hands full against the always unpredictable Dolph and his Hollywood co-star, Miz, in this tag team throwdown. Well, hopefully this sequel's better than Marine 2 through 6. Some good hits and a well executed move we just saw there. Boom! Man, just a multitude of strikes. Man, right to the face. And the lock's maintaining the advantage now. The lock isn't holding anything back. Just like that, Dolph dodges away. A sequence of reversals there. Could be a chance for him to change the complexion of this match. Ripcord. Oh my goodness. Nasty line. That one busted Dolph open. showing by this tag team. This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight.